Hi, thanks for joining me back here. I am Scrappy Adam and today I am taking a break from 30 days of sketches. Well, I'm not. I've got that video going up as well, as well as another video today. Uh, this one is a little bit different. It's a design team project. I won't always video them, but I thought I would pop on and finish this one on video because I have started it. And this one is for Spiegel Mom Scraps. They do all the awesome sparkly sequins for everybody. And they are based over in the States. But they do do international shipping. And there are some exciting announcements coming with regards to that soon. I will say just very quickly, if you do want to pick anything up, there is a code down below, ADAM15, which will save you 15% off the shop. So... On to today, I have pulled out colour study and I have also pulled out lots and lots of sequins. Before I show you that, this is the photo that I am going to scrap and it is a photo of Tom, Mick, me and Chris. We are in Cornwall and this is a selfie, but I put it through the Waterlog app to create this fun watercolour effect. So I thought I would scrap that today. So, as I said, I have pulled out my favourite colour study from the awesome Vicky Booten. I pulled out all the stickers, but then I have pulled out lots of other Vicky goodies as well. And I've also pulled out some ephemera and other bits. So we'll see what we get used up on this layout today. So, the sequins that I am using today, let me just get these in an order for you. I'm using a little bit of Uncle Sam 21, which has all these big stars, lots of different ones. Vicky's Rainbow, which has some flowers and blues, reds, purples. Limeade Twist, which I love. It's got the little cute limes. I don't know if you can see that because of the reflection. And the lime green. So I'm using a little bit of them. Then I'm also using a little bit of the Late Summer Thoughts, which were part of the collaboration with Dottie about Flair. And then I've used a full pack of Dreamland, Storybook, Ice Cream Dream, Strawberry Shake, and Wine Country. So that is right, I have used four, five, six, sorry, five full packs of sequins and four, God, what am I doing? Four full, five full packs and four part packs of Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. So I hear you asking, what the heck have I been doing? Well, we all know that awesome paper in colour study, the colour wheel, and I needed to make it a shaker pocket. So I did. And this is where all the sequins have gone. So you can see there is loads of sparkly sequins in there. Now, I did want to do each segment as a separate shaker. I tried, failed, wasted two sheets of paper. So in the end, I decided to separate it into three threes. And I think it looks okay. And all I did was I cut the circle out, then I used a craft knife to cut round like that so I could keep these inner parts to allow me to separate them so you don't see the foam tape underneath. And that is one sheet cut out, stuck on top of another sheet, and I've tried my best to line it up, and I think I've done okay. So there are so many sequins in here. Just show you that a little bit more. There we go. So that is what I'm working on today. And I have to say, I do love it. And I thought this photo went really well. So what I am going to do, I think, is layer my photo somewhere here and build my layout on top of this 
Obviously, I am going to have to cover some of this up, but that's okay because you're going to see the most of it. So I think I'm going to do that there. I fancy putting a bit of torn paper around it and then a few embellishments, but I'm not going to put that much on it because I don't want to cover all this up. So I'm just going to layer a few up here and a few down here around my photo. So I need to get this trimmed, get my photo mat with some torn paper and then we'll pop back and see where we're up to. I got a bit carried away there. So everything that you see on the page is now stuck down and I am loving how it's looking. Now, of course, I have blocked a full segment, two full segments in fact, but you can still see all of the three areas of sequence. So I am completely happy with that. Let me just mix them up. So you can still see all the sequins and I've got a full open one there. I will be adding a few bits up here. So what I've done is I've layered a load of stuff. I've got some florals under here, tucked in and another one here. I've stripped, torn some strips here. I matted the photo, then tore the edges, popped a bit of ephemera, a couple of butterflies. Why not? Uh, a notebook edge thing there, a couple of flares are tucked in here, a floral poking out here, and that is where I'm up to. I have also tore a bit of it and stapled here and put some of the blue, the same up here and put some of the yellow, and I can see the red poking through, so I quite like the look of that. My title is going to be You Colour My World. Now, let's talk colour. You guys in America, that is perfect. You guys in Canada and the UK, as far as I am aware, in Canada at least, but in the UK, we don't spell colour without a U. And it, it does and it doesn't bother me. However, I saw the other day, it was a 30 days video from the awesome Christy at Christy's Beautiful Life. She's also on the... Spiegel Mom design team with me and she had a great fix for this so I am going to take inspiration and take that tip from Christy very gladly and we're going to correct the U or rather the lack of U. So what I've done is I put this onto foam just some cheap foam and I'm just going to put some adhesive just a tape roller from Stick It and I'm just going to pop that there and then I'm going to push the title up on foam. Now I know it says you colour my world and there's four of us but I like it, I think it works. I love it layered up on there. Now there should be a you here. I'm sorry but there should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a you from the thickers and that I think is a really good way to get the U in for us that spell it with a U. So thanks for that tip Christy. Now what I should have done, I want to get this banner, you'll recall the other day I said I never use them, I don't know how to use them. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive on there, then I'm going to tuck that under there. I'm sorry, but I need to turn this over for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. So I want that to go there. And I want that to come under there. There we go. So I've tucked that little banner piece in there as well. So I love this little cluster because there's so much to look at. There's so much layering, so many details. And then of course, we've got all that sparkly got a clump of sequins here there we go so you've got all the layering and all that loveliness from Vicky boot in and the sequins just match it so perfectly I'm really pleased with how this turned out so more is more is more I need something up here I thought about this camera and then I'm going to go through all of this with you guys 
So let's pull out the color study stash before we look through anything else. Limit the options. So we've got the little puffy stickers and the flowers. And that, we don't need more ephemera. I have got the sticker book. Let's see. So these are washy, aren't they? Yes. So I love these word stickers. Snapshots of our life I love. Because I can layer this onto the camera. Like so. So let's get this camera on. And I'm just going to put adhesive there. And stick it there. I'm going to let it flip and... No, I'm going to put a foam dot there. But otherwise, let it be. So we'll have... Oh. One foam dot. And then... Go. Now I've stuck that so it's not actually. There we go. So we've got snapshots of our life up there. Then what else shall we bring in? I'd like to get a couple of these in. These are one of my favourite embellishments in this collection. So pop that there. wonder if we could get one up there. Why not? More is more. And then we might even get one up here. There we go, that is a full pack used. That's my second pack used. Three more packs I have. And obviously I'll be keeping this because that's great for matting photos. I don't think there's anything else in that sticker book just yet. Let's check these stickers. Make today awesome, I love that. Pop that there, just for a pop of black. And it's just a case, all I'm doing really is layering. And I don't really need to. I just want to. So layering bits and bobs up. What about popping that there? Got that there. I am really, really happy with how this has turned out. It's one of those ideas, do you know, that you have and you do the background. So I did all the sequins and then it was a case of, right, what do I do now? So I sat on it for a little while and then here we are. So I think that's it for those stickers. Let's check. I've got a new pack of. Got, I seem to have got that sticker. So I've got a new pack of chipboard, but let's see if there's anything we can use on here. I don't think we're going to need much more. wonder we could bring in a couple of these gold arrows. I do love these puffy, puffy thickers, the details from Colour Study. So we've got an arrow. Pop one there. 
And then I think I might highlight snapshots of our life with a little puffy sticker there. Let's bring in a small one there. Because I think with everything layered, I don't want the photo to be lost. I don't think it is. I think your eye is still drawn to the photo, even though all that colour, all that detail, all the layering, all the sparkle. So, one more. Um, oh no, I don't want that there, no. Okay. So we'll pop a... Nope. Let's see if we can get... There we go. Okay, guys. I think we are going to call this one done. Let me just add a couple of hearts so we'll pop one down there let's pop one tucked in there a little green one up here a little one poking out there well let's have a red one poking out there a little blue one poking out there. These are probably one of my favourite ever puffy stickers. Because they literally just fit anywhere. And finish off a page. Great. So, that's almost a full sheet of those used. Thank you so much for joining me today for my first Spiegel Mom Scraps design team process video. I'm sorry I didn't do much of it on camera with you, but this is how I roll. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do videos with very little to no editing. So, foam tape all on that, foam tape on this, stick it on the page with the acetate and the sequins in. And that is a giant colour wheel sequin shaker. I have used all the collections of sequins at the start of the video and just layered a ton of colour study for a colour explosion. And I love it. I hope you love it too. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the store, 15% off with Adam15 and check out the rest of the design team. I will see you back here later for another video and thank you so much for joining me. Bye everybody.